I'll tell you who is a star. Beetlejuice. He's here. He wants to mention ah. his tape again, I guess, or something. He's here with Sean and Drunken Jamie. The whole Beetlejuice team is here. The entourage. You should put him in your show. Mm. Well, Beetlejuice should have a show of his own. Right. Beetlejuice should have a show of his own. It'll never happen, though. Talk about family entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> Beetlejuice, come on in quickly, because uh, we're going to start the Summer Altice Fashion Show and Sex Talk. Oh, God, I can't wait. And, and Vodka Taste Test. Oh, God, I can't wait. And then, of course, uh, our new game, It's Just Wrong. You know, those two pictures of you with... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, uh, your <laughs> friend. I did it wrong. Wait a second. Uh, here, It's Just Wrong. It's just wrong for brothers to take off their sister's clothes or to turn your wife into a whore. It's just wrong. As a matter of fact, we'll be playing that uh, later on in the 8 o'clock hour. That's where brothers and sisters take off their clothes. Uh, Beetle just must be here to, to, like, take a meeting or something. He's in a suit today. He looks very official. Yeah, he sure is. By the way, that other tape I just almost played was uh, some... I got a lot of vicious voicemail. Uh, one from that woman who thinks I'm ugly and disgusting. You know, those two pictures of you in the newspapers today, there was such a shock to, to the human eyeball and to the human system. They, they, they weren't meant for human beings to see. It's like those ultraviolet rays or those high-pitched whistles that only dogs can hear. Your face isn't meant for the human eye to look at. It's a, a, a heinous, heinous, shocking sight. I'm, I'm speechless. I don't even have a song to make up about it. I never saw anyone that looks like you in my life. She hates me and thinks I'm ugly. And I think she's in love with you. Well, somehow she got Casey's home phone number. You're she's leaving. kidding. Yeah, she's leaving a uh, phone. F Beatles, she's leaving <laughs> phone messages at Casey's home. Hey, it's probably for me. That's why. Yeah, she's probably looking yeah. for you, you handsome devil. She's probably looking for me. Um, I saw you on the cover of the post. Well, I got so oh, many. Oh, that's real good. Oh, everybody hates my looks. Listen to this. Everyone making fun of me. Oh, it is a travesty. A travesty. That your hot girl forgets to bang a guy like you. Dude, your face is repulsive. Your body is repulsive. We got the flabby, pimple ass. Yeah, that's disgusting, man. The whole thing about it is, you think you're hot. Dude, when you're off the radio, that boy's gonzo. You're gonna go for a younger guy with a good body. Like me. Dude. See? Everybody's weighing in with something. What a scumbag. Exactly. Well, Beetlejuice, you are so lucky. I see your management team with you. I see uh, Sean, your manager, is with you. How are you, Sean? Doing very good, thank you. Good to see you. Everything all right legally? Everything is doing pretty good. Uh, you know, legally? Good. You think there's some legal problems? Did you have some legal problems? <laughs> Me? Uh, you, know, uh, you went through that. Not you. I'm talking to Sean. What happened? Oh, no, they made up some charges. Made up some charges? Yeah. So Who's to... after you? Uh, Anya. <laughs> Who made up the charges, uh, Sean? I did. Uh... I had a little problem. It's all straight. I took. Up. I had that taken care. <laughs> he took care of it. <laughs> I took care of it correct. And then I see your other buddy, Drunken Jamie, who uh, everybody loves. He's on the new videotape, Beetlejuice Uncensored. Uh, what are you guys here to say? To promote the videotape? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to promote it. That's for you, Harry. Well, thank you. Uh, That's why I'm up to it. That's why I'm out working in the bars. That's why I'm out there doing it. Well, Beat, I told you that I love the new tape, Drunken Jamie. I love your material on there as well. There's some, uh, I, I think the tape, quite frankly, could put you in jail. It's so disgusting. <laughs> and, and I'm for me, sure. I could get away with it. Well, I don't know about that, Beetle. Oh, sure I could. There's, there's things on this tape I have never seen sure in my life. It's, well, yeah, it's I thought some of it was illegal myself. I don't no, know. It really is. Well, how about when Beetlejuice beats up drunken Jamie? I mean, Jamie, <laughs> you allow... Surely I know you can defend yourself. You just let Beetlejuice punch you in the face repeatedly. No, actually, Beetle's kind of like the godfather, man. He's just like, you know, he's got to take care of business. And, well, you know, what are you going to do? He's like my brother, though. We fight. I'll be honest. Is there a rule in the organization that no one's allowed to, to hit, hit Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice back? Because, That's A... Right. Uh, he's the money earner. Exactly. Right. And you don't want to mess up you that face. Actually, I went to crack his skull in half, but no. You can't. It would have been a half and peanut. Right. No, I'm Nobody just touches kidding. Beetle. Can you, uh, do, do you I think, Beetle, you realize Drunken Jamie lets you beat him up? Yeah. Jamie, Jamie don't have a choice. I could have knocked him out on one hand. <laughs> right. Well, there you go. He was, he was robbing in like three seconds. Beetle, just talk to me about some of the bits on your tape. What were you thinking when, um... You, you you go to the door in your apartment, you're totally nude, 
And then you walk up to the door. You, it's a pizza delivery guy, usually like a Korean or something or a Mexican. Yeah, I look like a Mexican guy. Yeah. No, you don't look like a Mexican. Yeah, I look just like the guy. Yeah. Yeah. So the guy. Uh, all right. The I, look, guy can, I, I don't look the same anymore, though. The guy. Right? Me? I look like some Mexican guy. Though. <laughs> the guy walks in with a pizza, and you're nude. And he sees you nude, and then you wipe your butt with uh, the money that you hand him, and you do different things. No, he had the money in there. He already had the money in there. Well, so, only thing he had to do, I wipe my ass on it. He know he think it was a piece of paper. Do you get nervous when you do a bit like this that it won't work? Me? Yeah. You do. I don't get nervous. You don't get nervous. Whose no. idea was that? Oh. That was my pretty idea. That was your idea. Was it really you generate the idea? I ideas? did it to Shaw when he's on the table. Uh huh. Like he's like he's getting the guy the money. Yeah. Like a hundred. It's a fake. It's a fake dollar bill I gave him. Is All that right? right? So you it's, were... it's like it's like a counterfeit money. So Beetle, if I so, can get into your you head know? here, you are the creator of these bits. You're the one who really masterminds this thing. Sean just tapes them. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Actually, he don't, don't, don't tape them. Actually, I he put does. them up on the. He, TV and he, I cover them. He covered them. So, so, so when I do, I, I hide. Are you when hide I, the when he does them, I cover them. You cover them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I but cover Beetle, them. Why do you want to get naked? Standing there, he's not going to act the same way. We want whole shocking. You know. Right. But oh, why does Beetle get naked for guys? No, we get. Well, he just gets naked. Whoever, you know, there was girl deliveries, guy deliveries. Yeah. Oh, Beetle, what about girl, that? Yeah. Were you nervous what the public would think if you got naked in front of men instead of women? I get naked in front of the women. Yeah. Yeah. But what about I do it for them, yeah. But you know they could tag you with the whole gay thing and stuff like that. Were you nervous about that? Me? Nah. Yeah. No. You're not I know, I know, I know how to figure everything out. I know how to do it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm a pleasing man, though, but I know how to do it. Now, Drunk and Jamie, you're on the tape as well. You're part of the entourage, almost like a jackass kind of thing. Beal just has his friends do things. Um, were you the guy who invented eating uh, the cat? Cat crap? Cat crap. Cat yeah, crap did you is fantastic. That? Yeah, with a little ketchup and, and salt and pepper, cat crap is fantastic. Right, so I, I noticed that you're very involved in the tape, and you come up with your own bits as well. And, um, and Beetlejuice, there's a very disturbing scene between you and Drunken Jamie where you're nude, and uh, I, I, I can't be too explicit. Because is I'll get Jamie in trouble. Jamie nude as well. Jamie is nude, and then no, I'm not. Well, I'm just, well, I'm well, just well, how about when when uh, the the wee wee tinkle ends up on on Jamie? I mean, oh, you don't want to know about oh. that. Yeah, <laughs> that was going oh, on. I brought, one day I brought it to a go. I brought it to a place where people get the massage. Uh huh. He don't want to know. Well, uh, there you go. There's the explanation we've been I waiting for. I never go in the shower, but he didn't even know. Now, we also see you do something that you are very famous for. You do it dwarfy style. You I do, do it dwarfy style. Dwarfy style. I had a girl, I had a girl in a place. She comes in, she gave me a shot, you know. Right. I came up with it. I said, yeah, babe, give me a shot. <laughs> A you know what I mean? Right. And you do it to her dwarfy style. That's oh, your favorite yeah. position. Same way she coming. Yeah. Yeah. With the finger, brother. Right. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> with the finger. Yeah. Dwarfy style is your invention, with right? With the finger. That's yep. the best. Dwarfy Sean, style with the finger. Sean, are you shocked by dwarfy style? No. You're not? Not at all. Is that taking the country by storm? <laughs> I see it almost every night. <laughs> okay. Now, 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 there's some other things on there that uh, blew my mind. How about pumping gas naked? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll pump gas very naked. Yeah, you went to the gas station. This is a public place. You this got is in a car. Very, very dangerous. Hey, I did it that way. Hmm. More dangerous you don't want to see. All right. But I can do it, though. All right. So you... I've been to it. You did it. Yeah. You did it. A you long did. time, yeah. You did that. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's what I want to know. Now, when you developed this comedy routine, pumping gas naked, <laughs> uh, what, were, what was going through your mind? What did you what want the public to think? My yeah. Nothing going through my mind. I'm going to do it straight up. Now, that's shocking that nothing went through that your was, mind. Nothing shocking to me. <laughs> nah. no. Did you, were you laying in bed one day and you said, I'm going to go pump gas naked? I mean, how did Hell it, yeah. That's how it happened. <laughs> Hell just yeah. come up with these brainstorms. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I always come up with brainstorms. And what is the process? When you get an idea, how long do you wait before you actually put it into motion? Instantly. Put like... 
instantly like two minutes. Two now, minutes. Do these things yeah. come to you like in the middle of the day or in the middle of the night? <laughs> yeah, Any They don't come in the middle of the night. I sleep like I sleep like a man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think. I think a lot. Yeah. When I sleep, I think. All right. You sleep and think too. All right. So yeah. then you wake up and you have these ideas. Oh, I had all kinds of ideas. Right. So what are the things that you didn't get to do on the tape? Is there anything you're saving for? Did you leave on the cutting room floor? Did you, yeah. Did you, yeah. Did you, did you you're saving anything for your next tape? Yeah. The lawyer, oh, everything the lawyer, for the, the next lawyer tape. Cut some things out. The lawyer cut things out? Yeah. There was a the lawyer, lawyer cuts everything out. Once I do the other day, then he cuts out the other. Beetle, you sat down with the lawyer? You had the discussion? Oh, yeah. yeah. I spoke to him, yeah. Did you speak up and say, listen, you can't cut my work? Yeah, that's what I just said, yeah. Yeah, and sometimes yeah, he she won. fight for things? She don't have to fight for things. I take care of it all, all the way. All right. So when you when you say to yourself, you have a dream about pumping gas naked, <laughs> then you say, you wake up, and what do you do? You say to Sean and Jamie, you say, guys, I got to go pump gas I naked. I say, hey, it's the guys. I'm going out to pussy. Uh, to, uh, nah, it's, it's okay. You know what I didn't say. I didn't say it was. You didn't say the F word? Nah, I thought you did. I'm I sorry. Did. Somebody uh, in there did. Somebody did. Howard. <laughs> Jamie said it. No, yeah. I know Jamie. He the whole said thing, it all the whole time. Thing he's, he's the closest one. You're right, Les. You're right, Les. Um, but the whole thing is that, you know, if you can't laugh at yourself, then you really shouldn't be in this business. You know what I mean? Of what course. business are you in? What business are you in? Describe it. I just want to know. <laughs> yeah, what business? The business to make people <laughs> laugh. Right. So the tape is a funny tape. Uh, it's it's funny. Some We're of it's funny. disturbing. When you go into the gas station you're naked, do you get nervous that the Wait, cops are going to come? Do I get nervous? No. Do the, what about the police? What about I want, that's like a man right in the store. That's like everybody else. Well, you know the law. I know you know the laws. That I you know the great law. You cannot but my be, law is me, I get it in a way. Right. Would you ever say to yourself, well, gee, I'm going to go do this great stunt, but I could get arrested. Oh, I did a stunt. Well, it, it, it's no problem. No You've problem. You've never been arrested? Nah. I did, I did it last week, and I did it Thursday. All right. So when <laughs> you... I, I, I don't bar, I said, yeah, you want to trash this place? I'll trash it. Trash it? I trash this place like it ain't nothing. I just trash it. Your, your public wants to speak to you, Beetlejuice. Let's go see what they have I to say. I just want to know what they, the lawyer wouldn't let him show. By the way, tell, Sean, tell people how they can get the tape. Oh, they, they, uh, they could go to jollydwarf.com. Jollydwarf.com. Or they can order it at 1-800-604-604. Nine zero zero four. I see. Operators are standing by. Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. They're all standing by because I said it the last two minutes. All right. Are you aware of how many tapes two you sell? Bars I went to. Beetlejuice. Are you aware of the business behind this? I don't want to see you uh, end up. Hey, I'm, I'm working on doing it. All right. Uh, how much money have you made so far? Uh, at least about a million dollars. Really? Is a that million? true? A million. Yeah. That is true. Okay, Brian. Go ahead. You're on the air. Hi, uh, Beetlejuice. Yeah. What's up? You're a role model. Thanks, dude. I think you're a great artist. I, I miss a great artist, dude. He is a great artist. I mean, You're I You're absolutely right, sir. Right. The Romano Fall Dwarf. Now, Beetle, I understand uh, that uh, as a result, you're addressing the United Nations about the situation in Iraq? Yeah, Iraq is something else you don't want to be. When will you be doing that? Uh, another couple of... Another couple of years. Okay. Another year. Another year or so for you to prepare your Middle East policy? Yeah. Okay. Another year. All know. right. Jerry, you're on the air. You know? Uh, yes. I ordered that Beetlejuice back in August, August 17th. They took the money out of my account on the 18th. I never received the tape. What about that Beetlejuice? Is the account? I order? told you to order it before. Why do you order it? He I, did order it. He did order it. I, I sent the packet to it. What you did with it? <laughs> I sent it to you. <laughs> Is it his fault that he didn't get it? Hey, he it's it. not my fault. You better talk to the company. It ain't my fault. <laughs> well, this guy's holding you responsible, Beetlejuice. You're the man with the name. You're well, the man with the name. Well, his name, name on the package, he should have got it before. But you know, the, you know the public well, that's is going to hold cousin, you responsible. Well, that's my cousin, so that's him. You know, you know he's a fan. He's going to well, hold you responsible. Well, you got to talk to my cousin Nate. Wait a minute. So, wait a minute. Who's mailing the tapes? Who's mailing the tapes, Beetlejuice? Huh? Who is mailing the tapes? I am. You are no, personally. I am. I'm mailing them personally. He's mailing the tapes and he's Cousin, the cousin, mail. I must have had a couple of beers before I mailed them. But listen, in, in any day now, you'll get the tape. I guarantee it. You hear that? I guarantee you'll get the tape. I don't know what the problem is. If you live in a bungalow or something, you're going to get the tape. All right, there it is. Drunken Jamie making that uh, promise right, that you will get wow. it. <laughs> a troubleshooter. Uh, Jimmy, go here. ahead. You're on the air. Tape. There's a lot of big business going on yeah, here. Jim, yes? Uh, hey, man, I got that video about a week ago, and, it, and the thing got me fired from my job. But what How's do you, that? How did that happen? I, I, I had it shipped to my work, you know, and I, and I get the tape, and I put it, I put it in, you know, because I couldn't wait to get home. And, I get, and before you know it, I got out of about 50 people. I work at a telemarketing place, 
had about 50 people crowd around the office. And the next day, I come into work, and the and the boss brings me in and says that uh, a couple of the ladies were offended by the about the scene where Jamie was getting beat with pee on Jamie. All right, well, there it is. This this tape got uh, him fired. It's so controversial. Fantastic. Find a new job. Jimmy, go ahead. You're on the air. Hello. Yes, Howard. Jimmy, quickly, because I'm running out of time. The Summer Altice uh, fashion show and sex talk is going to be happening, and also our new game is going to be happening. It's Just Wrong, a game where brothers and sisters undress each other. It's Howard, you're just wrong. wrong. What? You must have a piece of the action with this guy. You what? You have a piece of the action with uh, Beetlejuice for having this idiot on? I have no piece of the action. I'm, I'm, I'm merely it. a fan. I am just. get this guy off the radio. Why? Because it's so annoying listening to this guy. Beetlejuice. And he's full loses along with him. Beetle. Uh, yeah, you can't beat him when I can't do. Studio, pal. Hey, buddy, what do you work? Nine to five. You yeah, think yeah. you're so tough? Why don't hey, you come down with me, pal? <laughs> pal? I don't think you have it, pal. Hey, buddy, I love you. I love you, and I, I love, love you. I love you. Have a nice children. Friend. I want to yeah, eat I your children. You have these assholes on. Yeah, go eat dogs, you stupid. I saw your girl where she got. She don't have nothing unless you give it to her. Well, there you go. I think Beetle Howard, had the last word on you told him, buddy. Excellent point. Excellent Howard, point, yes. Howard, the whole thing is that I, the way I look at it is you can't take life seriously, man. Is that because the way you look at it, Jamie? Yeah, because that's a problem with the whole damn world. Yeah. You know, Everything I is just, too serious. I think you should just get drunk, smoke bones, and dance naked in the street. I all right. That's my look at. Well, if you want to see it all, in fact, drunken Jamie uh, goes into a hotel gymnasium and works out naked. Absolutely. Don't you think, though, the woman on the stairmaster, when she sees you there laying on the floor naked, maybe that's rude? Well, to do I, that? I asked her if she wanted to drag on my cigarette, but you know, you drink a beer, well, get naked. I tell you, I was surprised they allowed that on the tape, Jamie. It's fantastic. Our lawyers took care of it, though. All right. Well, there you go. And one final call from Robert before we move along. Robert, go ahead. Hey, Howard, I uh, I ordered the DVD online last time they were on, and I got an email confirming my order, and I haven't gotten the DVD yet. Jamie, where's that DVD? Jamie, what are you doing with the DVD <laughs> di distribution? Uh? I guarantee you that your DVD will be there any minute now. So, you know, if you're in California and it was it, it, and it didn't get to you, you're in Boston, okay, I guarantee Jamie, you, it, it, it on also... the air right now, you will get the DVD. And I, I also ordered that one with the guy going up girls' skirts. I got that like three days later. No. What is that? Peter Jr. getting off of the skirt there? <laughs> All right, but but here here's the thing. Uh, you know, he's a king. He knows what's to get. Let's be serious. You guys have a credibility issue here. Yeah. People are saying they're not getting their tape. You're How advertising the tape to be when honest, they show and tell the story. I, I'll be honest. What happened? Okay, go ahead. This is honest. Uh, we had a problem with two different fulfillment houses. Okay. The first fulfillment house said they couldn't do it because the DVD, the stuff in the content was too graphic. Okay. Then we sent it to a different place, and they said the content on the box was too graphic. Okay. So then we sent it to a third place. <laughs> no, this is rude. This is true. And they had a, they denied it, but they wrapped it for us. So they had to wrap each one individually. So what is it now? You've is signed Drunken Jamie to ship the tapes himself? No. no. You do have a fulfillment house. Yeah. You do. All right. So, so some of these people who haven't gotten their tapes will they'll be getting it? They'll definitely have them before Friday, guaranteed. You probably okay. won't know what it is. It's been wrapped so much. Uh -huh. Yeah, it happened. Hey, the, people, people, the people are scared. You, uh, before you go, in today's Boston Globe, another uh, ex-Jesuit priest who's also a football coach was indicted for rape. Oh, yeah, that's dear. great. Yeah, I want to read you the headline. I'll bet on that. Headline real quick. Give me on the grid. I'll bet on that. You bet on it. Casey, what is it? Hey, uh, go ahead quickly because I have so much to get to. Hey, did you read the list of the stuff that Beetle just wants to buy with the money he's getting from the tapes? I did not. Let me take a look at that list real quick. Beetle has a wish list? Let me take a look. Uh, Things Beat wants to buy after the video sells a Harley Davidson. Wow. You want a motorcycle, huh? Yeah. Well, what Sweet. are you going to do? You can't reach the pedals. Me? I know how to ride a bike. No, yeah. I get a custom made. I get a custom made. What, a mini bike? Oh, a little bike? Yeah. yeah. A Harley. Yeah, a big wheel. A Harley. Oh, a Davidson, yeah. Do you have a license? You don't have a driver. Yeah, license. I have a license, yeah. He doesn't have one, does no. he? No. I do have a license. He drives on the tape, though, I He see. does drive on the tape. And he drives right into a tree. He can't No, drive. he drives into another car. Yeah. No, I never do. Yes, you do. Um, I never did. You want to buy a rocking chair? Rocking chair? What are you talking no, about? That's what it says here. I ain't no rocking chair. You don't man. want a rocking chair? He wants to buy a goat. He wants to buy a goat to throw it off the roof. Or something? Sean, what is this? Is he want... That's what he told me he wants. He did. Does he want a limo with a jacuzzi? Yeah. yeah. Tell me all this stuff. Uh, two foot Just pool. Just a limo and a jacuzzi and uh, DJ equipment. You want a two that's foot it. DJ equipment? You want a two foot that's, pool? That's it. Do you yeah. want a two foot pool? Hey, that's right. I would love to see beat DJ. Oh, I, how, Howard, yeah. Howard, he also wants to buy his own show. 
Because he, he thinks that he's, he, you know, he's better than anybody. Well, it says here you want to buy I a grandpa. I no, I'm better than anybody. You think you're better than anyone? No. 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 Ah. My what about, it says here, it says here. I said nothing like that. It says here a grandfather clock. You want to buy? Oh, uh, it's just it's just a strip. You know what I mean? A snakeskin belt studio. It's all strip. You, you know, want DJ equipment yeah. and a goat? You want to adopt a baby? <laughs> a baby? I ain't adopt a goat. Yeah. <laughs> goat. <laughs> and you want a restaurant with a coffee shop? Oh, no, just just play. You know, no. this making jokes out of. But all. you do want the DJ equipment. Oh, yeah, I DJ, yeah. Five dollars, yeah. Right. But you know what? Uh, you want DJ equipment in your house or in the yard? No, inside my house. Okay. Uh, Beetle, I hope all of your dreams come true. I hope the tape sells a lot of copies, and you do get all of these things. I do. I do hope you get them. Thank you. I'd love to see you riding around town on a Harley. Oh, yeah. I'd love Who to see you rock the house. In fact, tape that Oh, if you I do. do rock the house. Right. And, uh, Howard, can I just say one thing? Sure. We're going on tour. Yeah. We're going we're to hit every we're college gonna hit, We're going to hit everything I have. I'm going to hit it every day. We're going to hit every college in the United States, and we're just going to just bomb them. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, what are you going to do? All the your affiliates? Yes. And we're going to... Um, we're looking for sponsors right now to send us What will tour. you do on tour? We're going to se- shoot our second video. Oh, I'm sure AT&T will step up. <laughs> oh, yeah. They better no, step up. Never lunches in a house. I got all the money. They better <laughs> step up. All right. Beetle, you need a sponsor? Yes. Okay. Um, also, you have <laughs> yeah, a fan club. Work, are we going to do it? You also have a fan club where people can log on and vote to get a Beetle. To get Beetle a star on Hollywood yeah. Boulevard and view his NFL picks. Yeah. Uh. Better than like, Audi. Who do you like this weekend, uh, Beetle? <laughs> oh, I like all different people. All right. It's on the website. <laughs> Beetlejuice deserves a star dot com. Okay. And jollydwarf.com or 1-800-604-9004 for the video. Okay. Very good, guys. Uh, good luck Give with a, your tape. I'll I like give a shout-out. One shout-out. Shout-out. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, shout-out to my little At K-O-A-M dot com. What is that? A sh- shout-out to who? King of all media dot com. Yeah, that's Kevin, me. Kevin, he helps us out. He he, you know, really helps us push the tape. And he's, he's your man. Yeah, it's my and, and lyrical. And I don't want to carry. And my boys too. My boys, because if you see the DVD at the end, it's a Liquid Spider Station. The mu- the music is fantastic. It's it cool. Sounds like you boys have really put yourself into the entertainment business in a big way. All right. Well, listen. Yeah, we do a good change. Guys, we got to say on schedule Beetlejuice, an honor to have you here with thank your you, tape, Howard. and uh, thank you so well, much. Thanks to you. you thanks to you, Howard. Oh, thank Howard, you. without it's you, always, none it's of all your you work, dude. We know that. Whatever work you get, we get half of it. All right. <laughs> That's a deal. That's the truth. Oh. That's Audi's the, truth the best. Right Audi, you're the best. I ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to let nobody down, dude. All right, I don't, don't let us down. I don't, I don't let no my fans down. Please don't they let They talk us about down. it. I say, yeah, go ahead and talk about it. Come on. I'm waiting for you to talk about it. We're talking real business. All right. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair <laughs> enough. Don't go tall. Stay small. I take store. I take it small. All right. Take it like a man and tell him, you know? That's exactly That's my the way thought. it is, you well, know? Keep dreaming. Yeah, he's all about Beetle business. You know what I mean? Keep dreaming and coming up with those great ideas. <laughs> I always come out with a lot of ideas. Always. Uh, always. Give them what they want. Give the people what uh, they what want. What do you have Give planned the for the next uh, video? You know? I got things in my head and I tell them all kind of things. Yeah? Well, you can't tell us just one? Yeah. I told one story, they will you know. All right. Thank you. And guys, we'll be back right after these words.